Hey guys, it's Alia or Cake Legend from TikTok and today we're going to be making this super cute galaxy themed cake. After I had my cake all stacked and ready to be decorated, I dyed this white American buttercream with purple, blue, and black food dye to get this really dark navy-ish kind of color. And then I just started masking my cake with that like I normally would with any cake. If you're unsure how to stack your cake and get to the stage I'm at here, you can check out my other YouTube video where I teach beginners how to properly stack and fill a cake. And as you can see here, I'm just icing my cake with no crumb coat like I always do now, and it saves me so much time, I definitely recommend it. I'll be posting a YouTube tutorial on how I do that. I'll go into detail and explain the techniques I use and I'll be doing that for American and Swiss meringue buttercream. But basically, if you want the quick explanation, for American buttercream, I work top to bottom and I just load up my spatula and swipe along the cake without picking up crumbs. It's kind of difficult to do if you're a beginner. Um, I would definitely recommend doing crumb coats until you get the technique down and know how to move your spatula along the cake. And once you get the feel of things and practice the motion, you can do it without a crumb coat. The next thing I did was prepare my little color palette by dyeing small amounts of buttercream into different shades of blue and purple, and then I took my offset spatula and just smudged those colors around on the cake. I wasn't really following any pattern, I was just doing different colors in different directions on different spots of the cake. And I did this step right after masking my cake in the base blue color. I didn't chill my cake between then and now because I want the colors to blend really nicely when I pass over it with my bench scraper once again. So as you can see, once I finished putting on all the colors, I started to scrape with my offset and bench scraper, just trying to smooth out the texture of the cake. Since my cake had been chilling in the freezer after I stacked it, uh, the buttercream did start to get a little cold after I masked it, which is why it's not spreading super smoothly. But as you can see, I have a little blowtorch in the background which I was using to heat up my bench scraper, which causes the buttercream to melt a little bit and blend together. You can also do the same thing with hot water if you don't have a blowtorch at home. So back to the Galaxy buttercream. During the smoothing process, there was a lot of adding on and taking off. If there was too many bright colors, I would add more of the base color on top and smooth it out. And then if it got too dark, I would just add more of the brighter colors. Just stop when you're happy with how it looks, honestly. And then I started splattering on these little white stars. Normally I would use edible white food paint, but I had run out at the time and I didn't realize. So I melted some white candy melts with vegetable oil and used that instead. After that, I dusted it with these edible glitter sprays to make it shiny and sparkly. Which is something that I love doing to cakes because who doesn't love glitter and sparkles on everything? And then here we have your basic buttercream galaxy cake. There aren't as many stars as I originally wanted to put on because it was a little hard to splatter with candy melts. But it still looks great. So then I cut out all these white stars with fondant and let them harden. In the meantime, I took the remaining colors from the decorating before and I put them all into a piping bag with white buttercream. I used this to make little swirls for decoration on the cake, but honestly, if you just wanted to leave it plain, you totally can. I piped small rosettes and swirls on one side of the top of the cake, kind of going in like a C or a crescent moon shape. And then I did a few more on the opposite side on the bottom so that I can make the stars kind of cascading down the side. So once the stars were dry enough to stand on their own, I started putting them on the cake and I used buttercream to attach the ones to the side and I just kind of placed them wherever I thought looked good. I made I think three different sizes and just kind of scattered them around. But this is also the part where you can be creative and do whatever you want with the cake. For the final touch, I added these small round sprinkles scattered around the stars on the cake, and then it was all done. There we have our sparkly, beautiful buttercream galaxy cake. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. 
Let me know in the comments what other kind of cakes you'd like to see me make or other types of videos you'd like to see. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!